are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. A big time arm and a power back. Should be fun. First pitch is next. your take on him Dan hey you take a look at this guy's ERA any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball when we have all these high scoring high flying affairs this guy knows how to pitch he knows how to control the running game and most importantly he's not afraid to throw strikes we'll see how he does in this one. up next for the Buccos number 13 and he's a strong candidate for rookie of the year honors if he can avoid a collapse here in the final months it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far pitch on the way high and tight here to begin the inning it's ball one these Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas they did get the win last time out but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last okay. six tries Kevin, okay. yeah guys this team is certainly coming together everyone we were down there before the game there's a fight at the Here bat rack right now they won in huge blowout fashion yesterday and they're looking to continue that offensive surge in this one. 73 degrees our game time temperature here tonight and it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that hit in the air down the left field line Dickerson on the move he gets to it and makes the catch for the first down got it the second base Adam Frazier and that will bring in Adam Frazier his past line against Aaron Nola he's hitless in six tries First pitch of the at bat. Lifted down the line and left. Here comes Dickerson, and they can't run it down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing in the club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. The bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Standing in, Franco. He's definitely a long ball threat. Currently third in the National League in that category. Hey, d -Roll up upsteps one of the best power hitters in the game. Actually, he hit one out of the ballpark in his last game. Yeah, and I hear you talk about all the time they come in bunches for the power hitters. And that's certainly the case right here. Better be very careful throwing anything over the heart of the plate today. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. the inning hot and brings in Josh Bell. Hey, that's a nice knock by the three hole. I know there's two outs, but they always say with the man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Standing in, Josh Bell. What a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, this guy's got the home run and runs batted in thing figured out for the Triple Crown, but he's not in the top five in the batting average. If he wants to win the Triple Crown, so he's going to have to make up a lot of ground. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone, have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. 
no contact there, and it's one and two. One and two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there, and even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. The one two to right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Back goes Harper, still going back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Two runs on the board after that home run by Josh Bell. Number 43 on the year for him. And that'll give the Pirates a two to nothing lead. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that they take the lead. Here's Gregory Polanco as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Polanco. Pitch coming. Here it is. In there for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Collins gathers, and that ends the inning. But the Pirates do get a couple here on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 2-0 Pittsburgh. Trevor Williams is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, sometimes you just have those games where no matter what you do, nothing works. Wasn't able to get out of the first inning in his last start, so hopefully that train wreck is over and he's on to bigger and better things in this one. Gene Segura standing in. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. Come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, 5-2 and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matty, I can't tell you how important it is to throw that first run up on the board, and that's exactly what they did. A little crooked number, a two spot to give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike zone. This team has been playing red-hot baseball recently. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. At the plate now, Zach Collins. And it's fouled away. The average sitting right at 270 on the year. Seven homers, 27 driven in. Fastball pretty close that time, but ruled the ball one and one. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Bryce Harper, he enters this one second in the National League round trip category. You know, D-Row, we're in the summer right now. This guy's power's been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the stretch. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that tape. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Harper is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. 
Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pole guy. Meanwhile, now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here. Just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. Striding forward now, Reese Hoskins. He's a long ball threat, of course. Currently number four in the National League home run race. Yeah, he's blasted four home runs in his last ten games, too. And he's got that power stroke working right now. This guy's an absolute nightmare to opposing pitcher. Power to all fields, and he'll take that ball away and drive it for opposite field power. Hey. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Harper at second with two down. Weak rounder back to the mound. And nothing on the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. into the box, Ryan Reynolds. And he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the fresh run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1-0. Line toward the alley in left center. And it gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, D-Roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking into three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball one. Well, this ball second one, inning is not starting out any better than the first was. He just might not have it in this one. A runner at first with no outs here. That's by him one for strike one. one. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Now the one and one pitch. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Hey. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Flat out locked him up with the change up right there. Usually you're trying for a the swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but. Clearly, he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Stepping in now, Pablo Reigns. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Whoa, Off the plate man. and in. It's a ball and a strike. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those secondary pitches, or hitters just start sitting on the hard stuff. Popped him up. Hoskins over to his left. Two down. Batting nine, the pitcher, Trevor Williams. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor Williams. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. 
you're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. A runner on first with two away. Outside for a ball, one and one. From the belt, the pitch. And this is popped up. Back behind second, Peraza. Put this one away, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh, but they're on top, two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Mark Withenshaw. Yeah, they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one, only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One and oh, the count. Pitch on the way. One and one, the count. Nope. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. All even now, two and two. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The first baseman, Justin Turner. Now in the box, Justin Turner. As you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. First pitch of the at-bat. Bases are empty, one man out. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. The hot, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of the stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And here's Jose Peraza. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. And here's Blanco to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Stepping in, number 13. Off for, the for one for him here in this one. one. Number 13. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just inside. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. Here it comes. 3 and oh now. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Now and with one away, time for a baseball. check of the standings. Adam. And as you can see, these guys trailing by just a half game in the division race.
Here's Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And a curveball, 79 miles an hour. It's in there 0 and 2. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Hey, D Row, there's a case of trying to sneak a piece of cheese on that guy after starting off with back to back. Off speed pitches has him 0 2 and can't get that fastball by. Yeah, you're doing him a favor right there. You got him dead to right 0 2. You can expand the zone. You can go north, south, east, west. And what does he do? He leaves a fastball, a hittable fastball. And he was able to get him out. In now, Franco. So take a look at the pitch. Too low. It's ball one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dickerson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The first baseman, number 55, Josh Bell. Josh Bell, the next to hit. And remember, he hit that two run homer his first time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First offering on its way. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Oh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. Oh, and one, here it comes. Hey! Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Hits this one hard the other way. And that finds its way through for a base hit. This guy is on absolute fire right now. That average is crept over 280 and trending north. Watch out for this guy. He's got a couple of ABs. Into the box now. Gregory Polanco. This will take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Ready with the 1 0. Just oh, off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two men are on with two men out. Hey. And that's over, 2 and 1. Three I balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And the count will be full. Segura will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Pirates strand a couple, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the third now. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Oh, 
And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. This one off. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. The next one two pitch. <laughs> Sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. And with one away, we check out where these guys sit in the current division standings. And it's not all that pretty as they face a sizable deficit at this point in the season. So striding in, Aaron Nola. Pitch coming, here it is. Hold one. Ball. And there's ball one. Look out, one and one. Fouled off. Grounder down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Pitch on the way. They try nope. to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. You certainly, know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Full count now. Three two pitch. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Man, that's just painful for a pitch right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Gene Segura. Philip to bounce back after striking out the last time. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one. It is pretty much a wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Count 1-0. Oh. Runners on first with one down. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. One one swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish. He's trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably get that. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. At the plate, Zach Collins, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swung on and missed, one and we're one. even at one and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Drilled right back up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in the score. ground ball to the infield but the run does come home from third and they cut the deficit to only one run trying to 
pick things up where we left off. Bryce Harper, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Harper is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously, a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. 1 and 0, oh, here it is. And he watches one miss outside, 2 and 0 oh now. <laughs> 2 and 0 oh count. and count leverage in your favor. Slides down the left side, but foul. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Hit hard on the ground to short. And a base hit, so a very good at bat there as the run is in to make it a 2-2 ball game. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Polanco has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Ryan Reynolds. First offering on its way. 1 0. -oh. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. The catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. Riding into the box, Tom Murphy. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action oh, out the there, count. tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Now, a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates' catcher. 
having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Pablo Reyes, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. 0 and 1 the count. And now a pitch on the way. And that's in there as well, 0 and 2 now. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt, try and get a swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, all even at two apiece. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, thanks, Heidi. Stepping into the box, Mark Withenshaw. He got on top of one and was a round-out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. With nope. Outside. The 1 0. -oh. Is chased out of the zone for strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. One home taking a strike two. Outside in a full count, three and two. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Driven nicely into the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Into the box, Justin Turner. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Was a strikeout victim in his first try. <laughs> Getting a few steps off the second there. Now the pitch lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit down the third baseline. And they 
Not good. Good at him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. And that hit right there extends his hit streak. He's not a bad little bump after that knock right there. He was eight games, there's nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right there. Standing in now, Jose Peraza. Turn throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Oh, that's a rally pillar right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Now with the play, Corey Dickerson. Runner in scoring position with two outs. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Great job by everyone involved right there. Executed a great pitch. Got the double play. But don't kid yourself. There's still a guy standing on third base. He still needs one more out. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Sent on the ground out to second. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Philly strand one through four. We're deadlocked at two apiece. Leading off for the pilot, the pitcher, Trevor Williams. Ready. Here's the first offering. All one. Count one and oh. A one oh home. Popped him up. Collins moving to his left. One down. Now batter. Number 13. So the lineup flips over and digging in number 13. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss and he's behind 0 and 1. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. A 1-1 count to the Pirates leadoff hitter. One out, nobody on. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the now strikeout that there. Yeah, the Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. At the plate now, Adam Frazier. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. That's evidence yeah. of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Three and two now. Oh. 
line shot to third, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. We've hit the halfway point, tied at two. Side. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The one two, and it's fouled away. One, two. And swung on and missed strike three. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one. And there was another good fastball for a strike out there. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's one for two in this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Count remains at 0-2. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. In now, Zach Collins. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch the one one and he struck him out so a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order Phillies down in order through five all even at two two all set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop Franco ready to deliver here's the first pitch Curveball taken outside to begin the at bat ball one Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Not close. It's 2-0. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Too high. And it's 3-0. Three and oh. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Comes the 3 0. It's in there for strike one. Toward the gap in right. 
right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. The now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. So that will bring up Josh Bell. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for goal one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. One and one to the Pirates' first baseman. From the belt, kicks and deals. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it. The plate. It's one and two now. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. No one out with a runner at second. And he popped him up. Here comes Dickerson. And this will land foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Gregory Polanco is on deck. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. foul ball it's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse payoff pitch one more time four foul balls in this AB pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away payoff pitch one more time and he fouls this one off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The next three, two. A runner at second. Nobody out. And another foul ball. The next three, two. Seven foul balls in a row. Okay, come on now. This is getting a little ridiculous. Don't be shocked if the pitcher throws the rosin bag at this one. The next three, two. Got him swinging in the dirt. Throw to first is in time. One down. Good pitch there. That was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Digging in. Gregory Polanco. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In the dirt here, and no advance. It's ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2 0. Oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Here comes the 2 0 -oh pitch. 
And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2-0 and as they bunch him up inside. It's 2-1 and now. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. The That's four over strikeouts ten. in the first Roll two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. To the plate now, Ryan Reynolds batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. To first, Hoskins gathers it in, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Pirates lead one. Home half of the sixth inning coming up, deadlocked at two apiece. Harper now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, but they want to stay as patient. He's going to throw a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Now the 2-0. 3-0 to count. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. 3 open. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to play start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Two two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Lays oh, off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. 
This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, the pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Swing and a miss on the ball way out of the zone and there's one away. The better fielder. Coming up to the plate now. Mark Withenshaw. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up. Maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next day. Big. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Number 13 is there and he'll bring this one in. Now back the third baseman. Justin. Turner. So coming to the plate, Justin Turner has hit in two tries so far. From the stretch. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. This ball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he swings the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. It's now two hits so far for him in this one. Stepping in now, Jose Peraza. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch. It's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Set the 0 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 2. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Ready on 0 2. One, ball, two One out of way from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. Hit down the line at first. Bell brings it in. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit two left. The seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Into the box now, Tom Murphy. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get from both starting pitchers. Have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. And now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. That one's a called strike. Back even at one. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with. This one's down to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now that number 15. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Pablo Reyes, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his own with all different options. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. 
maintain the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back even now at 2 and 2. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. 2-2. Uh, it's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Ladies DJ LeMay here will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. DJ LeMay. And this is taken outside for ball one. He'll check in here at 277. 14 homers and 58 runs batted in. Wind up. Here comes the 1 0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Stephen Brault gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Stephen Brault. Dickerson, third trip to the play for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. And the pick. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. for a base hit. Andrew McCutcheon will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 22, Andrew. Below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 16 homers, 39 driven in. The 1 0. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. A last two pitches back to back, off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right there on the mound. And that misses two and one. Hey. Two and two now. From the stretch. Hit on the ground to third. To Frazier at the bat. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Well, it was a promising start for the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. So base is empty now after the double play. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Gene Segura. First pitch on its way. No nope. fastball here as he'll take a look at Count ball one. And one. Oh. one and oh. Here we go. Runs outside, so it ball goes two. to two and oh now. Here it comes. Base 
bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ups and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has basketball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box now, Zach Collins. Nope, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. For the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Too far out in front that time. You can't keep it fair. Two and one. Now a move over to first. And he's back easily. Fouled away. Throw over to first. Go, and the runner safe. back safely. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. And again, a throw. Keeping hey. particularly close tabs on it. Set. Here's the 2 2. And it's fouled away. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One left for Philadelphia. And this game is still tied at 2-2. Two two. Zach Eflin is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Number 52. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, on the number 13. With no hits in three tries so far, he struck out once. Pitch on the way. Inside, ball one. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate, where the hitter can do a lot of damage. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. In the air down the line and left. But this will land untouched. One, two. Misses for the second ball. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. He was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. 
hey, one of the things you can't control as a starting pitcher is whether you're going to win or lose a game. He pitched awfully well in this one. As of right now, he's in line for a no decision. Into the box, Adam Frazier. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. Throw in time at first for round number two. The back. Number 19. Pretty good performances turned in on the mound so far, as evidenced by the numbers there, as we show you the starter comparison in this two to two ball game. <laughs> Digging in and looking for more. Franco, two for three with a double on his line so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Eflin is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Two out, nobody on. This will be fouled away. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away, and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Ball one is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three. And they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Score remains two to two. Carter Caps signed a pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56, Carter Caps. of inning number eight set to go and standing in the outfielder Bryce Harper. to the at bat and that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one oh and one to count to Bryce Harper This one off. The one two is laid off for ball two. Inside and that'll run things full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now here it comes. And he lays nope. off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he could really hurt you. 
to be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. I could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the stretch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. for the punch out and the offering. One ball, two strikes. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Two is a breaking ball. He can't find the zone, and it's even at two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Mark Withenshaw as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. Caps, originally from the Tar Heel State of North Carolina, he was selected in the third round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. A ball and two strikes now. It looks as though the dugout wants to go ahead and put him on here to keep that double play in order with one away. That's what's now called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with that, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. At the plate, Justin Turner. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and the little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Settling in now, Jose Peraza. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, that, especially when you're kind of new to do something productive. Ready with 
the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. and oh. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. One and oh. Here it is. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. 
and a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. 2 0 home. It's taken three both three. Pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The battle, the right fielder, Gregory. Ready for another shot now. Gregory Polanco. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Here it comes. Grounded to short. Segura has it. To second for one. Throw on to three. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. And Kansas left. This is a complete. You always go for it in the second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Ready for another chance. Ryan Reynolds will swing it from the left side right here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. And, oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Comes set, and the 0-1. Ball is taken for ball one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Now the 2 1 pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. Here's the 2 2. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Runner at first here, one man out. <laughs> Lifted down the line in left. Dickerson on the move. But this will land untouched.
this hit is down to only one now. Yeah, one a day keeps the doctor away, Dan, right. especially when it's a big one late in the game. It doesn't matter at all. You're just trying to get one knock a day, find a couple barrels. He having to catch his late. Boy, I'll tell you what, you're talking about coming at a good time, too. You're having kind of a rough night last AB. You end up being able to do something positive, not only for yourself, but also helping the team out, too. To the plate now, Pablo Reyes. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And this gets fouled. It's 0-1. Tying and go ahead runs on base here. That's a down in the way, ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. see right there that the manager is sticking up for his hitter making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter it's tough to cover both sides of the plate and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit grounded up the first baseline oh and this is passed him down the line a fair ball he's safe at the plate and that ties the ball game in the top of the ninth. Yeah, and I think this is the case of a guy trying to rush him, hoping to turn a double play. And instead of getting two outs, they get zero outs, and runners are on first and second. Francisco Liriano takes over on the mound in the tie ball game. There is one gone here in the top of inning number nine. Kevin Kramer will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. He's going, brothers, blanking for the plate. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. Get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide screen. Now so a gutsy call there, and that here. takes some serious stones to call the suicide squeeze this late in the game, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. offering on its way no, that's fastball cool. just misses that's ball one hey. fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike Three runs already home here. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two.
Ready with the 2 1. And he fouls this one off. The set. And the 2 2. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes now across to score. That's exactly what you want from a guy in a game when you're leading by one run. He gets a chance to drive a guy in and he promptly delivers with an RBI that gives him an extra one to play with. You know the guys in the bullpen appreciate that. Stepping in now, Adam Frazier. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Runners on his way to third. He swings and misses. Throw down. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. So, boy, the wheels really came off the bus here in the top of the ninth as a huge ninth inning rally has totally changed the complexion of this ball game. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. It's the Pirates six and the Phillies four. Gilberto Jimenez stays in the game after pinch hitting and he'll be patrolling right field. Keone Kellogg comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Keone Kellogg. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Gene Segura. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. and two strikes now two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here 2-2 two, two. last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3-2 and that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four Stepping in, Zach Collins, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Oh and one, here it comes. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. slowly down the first baseline and he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball the one two 
looked at for ball number two. Nobody out, runner on first. Still two and two. From the belt, the pitch. These last two guys are making them work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Number 13 is there, and he has it through the out. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line in the disappearance. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Kella, a six foot one inch right hander. He was a 12th round selection during the first year player draft of 2012. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big a ball. That's a big accomplishment. Count now a ball and a strike. One one home. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Runners on first with one down. Fouled away. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. He takes it to the opposite field. High and deep to left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Believe it, it's 6 6 now. Yeah, he's been producing at the play all year, so this should come as a surprise to nobody. But just because it's expected doesn't mean it's any less impressive. One swing, and we are tied. Reese Hoskins as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball 1-1. One one. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Dirt for a ball, it's two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That's being very aggressive right now. The count now at two and two. 
Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. 2-2. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it bothered him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. And now, Mark Withenshaw. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner. It's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Fastball well outside. And he popped him up. Frazier ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. But disaster has already struck here in the bottom of inning number nine as two runs come across, and they'll have to work a little longer to try and pull this one out on the road. Tenth inning coming up, and we are all even at six apiece. Into the box now, Adam Frazier. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number ten. First pitch on its way. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. One. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Liriano, former Detroit Tiger, who was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. I know he didn't smoke that. that one from the offensive right standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning, game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. Standing in now, Franco trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he put this one down. Segura for one, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. The first three four. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Josh Bell. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. For the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. And another throw over. And he'll dive back in. One and one pitch. 
Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Good, good, Runner good. goes for second. Got him swinging the throw. Not in time as he steals second. So he can't make contact there on strike three, but meanwhile the runner on first takes second here with two men away. Coming to the plate now, Gilberto Jimenez. Here's the first pitch. Get on the ground down the first baseline. You don't see too many guys at this level be laid on off-speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic tape. Now he's spinning a throwback to second. And a dive, but he's back in there. That didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. What a... The 1-1. One, one. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he goes from on the first as he works his way out of the jam, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all even at six apiece. Where Kyle Crick comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Number 30, Kyle Crick. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Justin Turner. The third baseman. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Oh. And you look at a fastball okay. just one off one. the black, and it's even at one. Two balls and a strike. And he 
misses oh, there for yeah. ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in the extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently won't get that until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. So a big spot here in stepping in. Corey Dickerson as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. And this is high, a ball and strike. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. To two and two now. Two and two. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard, but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Possibly winning run on second. No one out. Three. Baseball called. Strike three. And there's the first down of the inning. Jake will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 23. Yay. Yay. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Strike one anyway. Yeah, ball one strike. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there. We oh. laid a bell. Oh, they double play. And that's how the inning ends. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. No winner yet. On to inning number 11 we go. And we are all even at six apiece.
Stepping in now, Pablo Reyes. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 0-1. One. one and one. over now to start the home 11th and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Number 14, David Amen. Now catching and batting nine. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring in Gene Segura. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Ball one. Second, reined in, and there's one away. The back, the pitcher, back, Collins. At the plate, Zach Collins. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matt. He almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. One out, nobody on. Sinker, one ball, one strike. And he misses two and one. Count two and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Number 13 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Up next to Philadelphia, the right field. Ready now, Bryce Harper, and he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. And he's certainly got a chance to end this one right here with another home run. Going to be interested to see the style, how he plays this one. Does he come out of his shoes, or does he get back to staying within himself? First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. 
So that'll go into the books as a 26, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Three. And that one will be the third spot for the Phillies. Luis Hoskins got a chance to end this one and send his fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. Straight called. Now the throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies. This game remains tied at six. Now to the plate, Jared Leroy. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Leroy. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. One, two. And swung on and missed. He got him. This programming note to pass along. Due to the length of our game tonight, the long running animated series, The Wilkerson's, will not be seen this evening. Again, no episode of The Wilkerson's after the game tonight. So the Pirates' batting order turns over and set to go number 13. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. First offering on its way. Wow, I can't believe the hitter oh, took one. that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with the hanger. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here it comes on nothing and two. And a slider That's runs ball. in on him as he has to lean out of the way. The one two. Misses ball two. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man. And that will never threaten the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Adam Frazier waits on deck. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in. Into the box, Adam Frazier. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Sent on the ground out to second. Fields it cleanly. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and his side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. Score remains tied six apiece. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. Over five so far. First pitch of the at bat. Count one and oh. The 1 0 home. It is low and outside for a ball. 
if you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Hit the corner. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat, trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to get that one. Into the box now, Mark Withenshaw. As he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Two and zero to the Philly center fielder. One out, nobody on. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. One strike. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Reynolds will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Now batting at third base, Justin Turner. Digging in once again, Justin Turner. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. First offering on its way. Whoa. And it comes back with one in there for a high strike. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Two balls and a strike now. Here's the 2 1. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Take a quick walk to keep the blood circulating. 13th inning coming up. And we are all even at six apiece. Mike Morris takes the hill now to begin the lucky 13th inning. Number 28. Mike Morris. to begin and coming forward now is the shortstop Franco number 19 here's the first pitch to him nope. well below the knees laid off on the change up there well off the plate with the change of pace that's ball two Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Shoots this one over to first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Josh Bell, and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Yeah. 
Pitch out. Nothing doing. shot here to straightaway right field as they've taken a one run lead. Usually in extra innings you wait around for someone to run into one. He took matters into his own hands. Now it's up to his pitching staff to grab the W. The right fielder. So now to the plate, Gilberto Jimenez, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. The 0 1 pitch. Fastball that crowns him a bit, and it's one and one. Bouncer to the left side. Throw gets him. Oh. Two down. The left fielder, number 10. Ryan. At the plate, Ryan Reynolds. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Off the fast ball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. One ball, one strike to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Unable to find the zone with the slider. A 3 1 count to the left fielder of the box. I got 3 1. 3 ball, 1 strike. Just got the corner that time with a fastball okay. strike two. And he strikes him out here for out number three, but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out. So one run on two hits, including the home run, no errors, and no one left. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. It's the Pirates seven and the Phillies six. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw will oh, not be in time. So good hustle there is now the possible tying run as you're going to lead things off here. Hey, tip your hat to the right there. Most guys in this situation want to be the hero. Want to stop traffic and hit one out of the yard and get their name in the paper the next day. Not the case. He's playing past the baton right here. He's able to get a perfect one single down and now sets up and represents the possible tying run. Corey Dickerson is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0-1. 
they'll be looking for something who could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. And Dickerson behind 0-2 now.
One and two. Here it is. Strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. The Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Hang in as long as you can. Another inning coming up, and we are tied 7-7. Morgan Rodriguez is going to finally make an appearance in this one, and she'll take over in the 14th inning. Rodriguez. Number 36. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hey. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Set with the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Eight, that pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. The 1 2. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. He's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting the big pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. At the plate, Pablo Reyes. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. There. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Now the 2 0 home. Finds the zone, strike one. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. One out, nobody on. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. A solo shot here to left as they grab an 8-7 lead. That was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. The batter, the catcher, Jared. Stepping in now, Jared Leroy. Swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Here's the 0-2. Fouled off. Hard ground ball to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Not 
the way you'd like to throw up an 0-2 pitch, D-Roll, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0-2. Yeah, and he did an excellent job on the offensive side, not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he pulled his neck and he stayed in there. To the plate now, number 13, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. The 1 0. Popped up. Turner has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. One one. It's a fastball that misses. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I gotta believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Line to the right side, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. That's one of those tough luck outs that will drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. Riding in once again, Adam Frazier. He was a ground out victim last time up. Set. Here it comes. Ball one. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Two out with the man at first. Slap hard the opposite way. Dickerson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. A run on two hits and they leave one. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. It's the Pirates eight and the Phillies seven. Derek Holland takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 45, Derek Holland. On to the bottom of the 14th. And next to the video outfielder, Bryce Harper. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just fouled into the second deck. The wind up and the 0 1. and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now at the plate, Reese Hoskins. He went down on strikes last time up. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Down the third baseline. Throw on the first and Holland looks to be in control here. Two away now. Now batter, center fielder. Withenshaw. Digging in, Mark Withenshaw. Holland sets his sights. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Weighing inside bad. with that one, a pretty easy take there. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Two out, nobody on. Into the corner and slicing foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Philly down to their last strike. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, it took about a game and a half to seal this deal. Well, he took the lead in the top of the 14th and hung on for the road win in the bottom of the 14th. That's a real team builder right there.
there. A one run finish and eight to seven game tonight. The Pittsburgh Pirates put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory. David Clement earns his third win of the year in relief. Derek Holland records the save, his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.